Thompson's Cathode Ray Tube Experiment by KScience.com In 1897, J.J. Thompson discovered the electron. He did this by setting up a cathode ray tube, which is a glass tube containing gases at low pressure. This low pressure was achieved using a pump which sucked the air out of the glass tube. He used 15,000 volts of electricity, so he applied a high voltage. This meant a lot of electricity flowed through the wire to the negative terminal, known as the cathode. So to the left, where you see the blue negative sign, this is the negative terminal, known as the cathode. And on the opposite side of the glass tube, where you see the positive sign, this is the positive terminal, known as the anode. So 15,000 volts of electricity flows through the wire from the power source. This reaches the cathode, which causes negatively charged particles to be fired out of the cathode, as shown here by the blue circles. These negatively charged particles continue flowing through the glass tube until they reach the anode. This is known as the cathode ray. The negatively charged particles are attracted to the anode because this is the positive terminal. Negatively charged particles are attracted to the positive terminal. Negative and positive always attract each other, whereas the same charges, they repel. When the negatively charged particles were flowing in the glass tube, Thompson noticed there was a very vivid green glow. J.J. Thompson realised these negatively charged particles must have been negative because they flowed from the negative terminal and were attracted to the positive terminal. He also realised the green glow was due to these negatively charged particles being very excited and they must have come from the gases in the glass tube. He called these negatively charged particles electrons and he was the first to discover electrons. Before this, people thought there was nothing smaller than the atom. Thompson believed these electrons came from the atoms inside the tube. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Let's now summarise J.J. Thompson's experiment. So first, he had a glass tube with gas at low pressure. Second, a high voltage was applied, which was 15,000 volts. Third, negatively charged particles flowed from the cathode to the anode. Fourth, there was a green glow due to the excited electrons of the atoms of the gases. The special name of the flow of these electrons is known as a cathode ray. So this experiment was very important when it comes to the history of the development of the atom. This is because Thompson concluded Dalton's atomic model is wrong. He came up with the plum pudding model instead which was an improved model of the atom at the time with the best scientific knowledge they could possibly have. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.